Yeah. Right. That's out now. Brilliant. It's out now. How's it doing in the top secret midweek charts? You doing all right? It's number one, yeah. yeah it's number, number one. one. Good. <laughs> all right. <laughs> And your new album, Simpatico, is out later this month. Um, I haven't heard it yet. It's great. Yeah. Uh, is it? Well, I hear that, but we've only got one copy sent to... Only one. How stingy is that sent to office? Uh, Tramps no, took it home. Yes, you did. You took it home, and we've never, <laughs> we've never seen it since. So if you can get your pluggers to send us Tramp! another one, that'd be a good one. <laughs> Tramps! <laughs> He says it's good though, but you record it in a residential studio. What is a residential studio? Uh, it's, it's a bit like a kind of a, a lunatic asylum. You, you check yourself in for a month, and then <laughs> and then uh, uh, and then you check yourself out after about a month. So, so you actually live in the studio. You yeah. live there. Oh, is it a big country pile? It was somewhere. Actually. Yeah, it used, to, it used to belong to Dave uh, Gilmore, uh, uh, you know, uh, Pink Floyd uh, legend, uh, and uh, uh, it's yeah, fifth, uh, Elizabethan manor house. 500 acres of land. And, Ghosts. Uh, and you just rent it, and uh, it's got a great studio in there. And uh, um, uh, we, we lived there for a month and, and made a record. Was uh, it good fun? Like a holiday? Fantastic, camp? yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, Where'd you go last night? Uh, uh, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, now, is it harder to make an album now? Tim lives uh, most of his time in America, doesn't he? So, is it harder to make an album? Yeah, it actually works out better for us because when we do get together to do something, we kind of, you know, we concentrate on the the job in hand, you know what I mean? So we kind of, it's kind of focused, the band, like, you know, rather than just hang around and do nothing, we kind of, you know, spend a, a month doing a particular thing, i.e. making a record, and we managed to get it done. It's, so never, it's never really been a problem. We've never lived in the same towns anyway. We're all right. from all over England, and when Tim moved over, I mean, when we, when we need to sort of, like, do some writing or something, you have to make an effort to get together and to sort of, like, focus is you, and uh, you, don't, you don't waste as much time. He lives in... We're making it seem like a job, ain't we, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not. <laughs> it's a DOS, let me tell you. <laughs> he lives in Hollywood. Was nice, yeah. it was. Tim lives in Hollywood. Does he it, does. When he comes over, does he, has he been affected at all by... Well, you know, he, has to, he has to have a limo, pick him up from the hotel. Uh, <laughs> he has to be... Well, not a limo, Homer, you know, Homer limos. He has to yeah. have one of them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Nah, he's still the same chap, really. Does he, does he talk about famous people, though, like his next-door neighbours? Does he live next door to some... They've all moved out, his neighbours. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, I think he, uh, I think he gets about in uh, in uh, Los Angeles. I think he goes to the uh, kind of you know the, the showbiz uh, kind of uh, not so, not so much the showbiz. He hangs out with the cat and fiddle. It's yeah. an English pub with yeah. a big union well, jack outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he I'm, goes there every Sunday for his bangers and mash. And, uh, <laughs> I must be honest. When, sad, when he first moved there, he said he, he was going to enter into the you know, he was going to live the American dream, but he spends most of his time with expats in yeah. yeah. the cat and fiddle, drinking bitter, which is uh, uh, mild. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I love Tim, top man. Right, you're, you're going to go on tour now, aren't you? Let's have a look at your tour dates. So, uh, uh, it starts in a few weeks, starting at Wolverhampton, Glasgow. Oh, I can't look at that. It's a lot moving, of dates there, moving. isn't it? Moving, moving. Do you still enjoy touring? You've been doing it for years, haven't you? I was looking forward yeah. to it until I saw the, yeah. the, how many we were doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, touring's great. Uh, it's, been, it's been a while. We, uh, we haven't done it for a couple of years, so... Uh, What's the best uh, bit being in the Charlatans? Is it the recording uh, or, or is it the live tours, live it, shows? Round in my room afterwards. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Staying up all night, yeah. <laughs> all right, let's we'll speak to you guys more in a minute. Charlatans, everyone. Cheers. Uh, right then, Mr Peter Reed, you have had a great career. What? You would look like you were about to relax then. No. What was I do? Uh, you had a great career as a player, great career as a manager. Now you've turned pundit, but this is the pinnacle of your career. You're going to pop outside, take All a right. penner for us in the car park. No, well, now. Yeah. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Pressure. Yeah. 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 Right. He's waiting for you, referee oh. Gallagher out there. <laughs> Come on, Reed, I only danger, kid. Sorry. Get a wriggle on over here. All right, welcome outside to the sunshine. You going over there? Oh, in your own time, Pete. All, All right. right. Sorry about I'm here with Reedy. What's going hey, on? Here, mate. He Any should chance? take the penalty. Any chance, he mate? He should take the pen. Top man. Oh, have you? <laughs> oh, press, yeah. Come on, mate. Leave the, leave, leave the fat lad alone. Oh, yeah, lad. <laughs> All right. Reedy. <laughs> Bolton legend, City legend, Everton legend, England legend. But the big question is. Who are you tipping for the national this afternoon? I think Jack Isle will win it. Um, I think he'll get the hounds. Uh, the two favourites, I don't think, are value for money. 
All right, I got a tip for you. I got a quick tip for you. Right. Dusty carpet. Dusty carpet. <laughs> Never been beaten. <laughs> Come on! All right, Rido. All right, Rido. Now, you got one shot, one shot only. Careful you don't hit the bar like you did at the Radisson last night. All right, drank him dry. Wait for the whistle, all right, kid. It's not a great save. Not a great save, mate. Not good. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here, Reedy. That's poor, mate. That is bang average, right? In your soccer Saturday style, talk us through this. I tried to give him the eyes, but he read me. Uh, I've got to say, that's one of the best saves I've ever seen in my life. Fantastic. And I thought you knew about football. <laughs> and I thought he could do amazing things with his feet. Obviously, he can't. Tara. We're getting this. Yeah, we'll go. Yeah, if you've got the towel. Fantastic. All right, all right, wait for the whistle. All right, he's got to get. He's got after that funeral. Oh, oh, oh that is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Go on, do one. Do go on, go on, go on. Get off to selling and champagne and that lot. Back inside to the Charlottes. Go on. Oh, hello. Oh, Luigi oh, Buffon. A... He's going to have to put that on his CV, isn't he? He used to be so happy. All right, coming up after the break, uh, there's a woman in a t shirt yes. and a short skirt. Yes. And her name is Socorette. Yes. Hello, Hello. welcome back to Soccer AM. We're with the Char Charlatans. Oh, 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 oh. Charlatans. Peter Reed. Mr. Timothy Lovejoy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Could you all just get up and walk out of shot? It's just easier. They weren't expecting that. They're all, they're all on the floor. I apologise for that. <laughs> Bad for fans yeah. here. Like, uh, Are you going to sit there? Well, Joe, just come and sit here if you want. <laughs> right, uh, you ready to meet today's lovely lady? Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Here she is. Yeah. Butter, 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 butter. Yeah. Welcome to the show. What is your name? Rebecca Clare. Rebecca yeah. Clare. Oh, you've got two first names. What's your yeah. surname? Have you got Ferdinando. One? It's a bit of a long one. You've got another name, Ferdinando? Yeah. Oh, have you? OK. Rebecca Clare, and how old are you? 21. OK, and where are you from? London. And who do you support? Gillingham. Gillingham, oh, OK. And oh, it's going to take forever, this. Your jobs. You do quite a lot, don't you? I know, you? I know. Um, first of all, you're a presenter on Sky TV doing... Um, I do game shows. Those things late at night. Yeah. You phone up. Yeah. <laughs> try and win but, yeah, money. When you come back from the pub and you're drunk, that's what you watch. OK, let's... <laughs> Let, let's have a look at, at, at you in action, not those ones, no. Oh, here we go. Have a think. How many triangles? Get that answer in your head. Jot down this spot number and give us a call. Hello, who's there? It's Kenny Ward from, from Kent. From Kent? How many, how many triangles? Uh, 42. 42. Oh, it's the wrong answer. Not 42, it's my lucky number. Not lucky today, though. <laughs> See, I, I fancy presenting that. It looks fun. Is it fun? Yeah, it's good Just fun. Just stand there talking rubbish. <laughs> yeah, how, how long, exactly. How long's your shift? Um, three hours. You do three hours yeah, on, yeah. on that. OK. Yeah. And can anyone ever win? Yes, yeah, yeah, people win. Is yeah. it just a big con? No, no, people do win. Is there a proper answer? Yeah. 
Is there? Yeah. Is there, is there more than one answer? No. It's rubbish, isn't it? You sit there. <laughs> Everyone knows the answer. How do they work? Who makes up the answer? Just, just made up by a producer. Yeah. Just make up an answer yeah. and then that's the answer you have yeah. to go for. Yeah. They're rubbish. Yeah. Does anybody ever win first go? Yeah, yeah, people do. People can't win first honestly. go. Yeah, I've never people seen that. I've never people seen People do it, they do. I've never they seen do. it. They you do. sure? Yeah. And yeah, last week, we gave, last week we gave when they seven and a half grand up, to somebody. Do you do the one where they say add the numbers up? Yeah. And what are you actually supposed to be adding up? Well, there is a way of doing it. Go on, then. Um, it's called bod mass, but I can't remember exactly what it is. But you have to... I remember in GCSE maths. Um, <laughs> way, way long ago. Um, I think you You're have only to... only 21. <laughs> <laughs> it's just... You're just making it up. It's not all rubbish. All right. As, as well as that... It sounded good. Yeah, as well as that, you're a, uh, you're a pit girl, aren't you? For yeah. uh, A1 Grand Prix. Yeah. There you so are. I do modelling. Yeah. There you are. There you go. I love motor racing. Yeah. I love it. I go yeah. sometimes. Do you know who I saw in the pits recently? Who? Arthur Scargill. That's one for the Bradford fans. Yeah. you still got a picture of him up on your wall, have you? <laughs> yeah. My mate Simon Howley from Barnsley has. Even though he's moved to London, still got Arthur up on the wall. <laughs> Right, and also, you are one of the bottoms in the new Renault advert shaking your bottom thing, yeah. aren't you? Um, yeah. Let's have a look. You're the one in pink. You've yeah. got to look for pink shorts. Here and we go. So, mesdames et messieurs, I give you the new restyled Renault Megane. With a fresh new design at the front. How do we know it's you? We already know you lie because you do those TV shows yeah. and rip us off. So how do we know it's you? Tur turn around, okay. come on, turn around. Okay. Music, please. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So you do all those jobs. What do yeah. you actually want to do for long term? What do you want to do? Presenting for or acting? Presenting yeah. or acting. I'll have okay. your job. <laughs> what is your it's way of getting it? What's your uh, <laughs> what's your marital status? Single. Yeah. Do you have a boyfriend? Yes. Okay. What's his name? Jez Walsh. Uh, how long have you been going out with him for? A year and a half. It'll never last. I will. It'll it will. Never last. It will. It will. We're getting married. You are getting married. Yeah. Okay. It, it says here that you. Uh, he's a city trader. He's he's 38 years old. Yeah. He's doing all right for himself. Isn't he? <laughs> he's a city trader, investment banker. He trades yeah. government and corporate and bank debts, and he owns a Ferrari 360 Spider. Is he good looking? Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> it does matter, and he's lovely. He's gorgeous. They? OK. But just think, right, when you're 40, he'll be 60. Do you think he'll fancy you then when you're 40? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ferrari Spider, we go, woohoo, next one. <laughs> right. Now, interesting facts. You love cooking, cleaning, washing, ironing, yeah. and it makes you happy. Yeah. Probably makes your yeah. boyfriend happier, does it? Yeah. And uh, you're also, you're a, a trained psychic, is that right? Yeah, my mum's more of a psychic, but I do read the tarot cards as well. You got your gift off your mum, did you? Yeah. I inherited a special gift off my gran. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Goblin's tea's made. It's brilliant. Yeah. Um, so you you can read auras, can you? Yeah. What what what? Your electromagnetic field. Go on, then. What's my say? Yellow at the moment. Yellow. Yeah. What does that mean? Yellow. You're happy. Am I? Yeah. Content. Wait, it's might, might be standing next to me. Well, what's his, then? Clarity number. <laughs> <laughs> what's his? What's his? Come on, Can you read his? Uh, red. Ooh. Fiery. Ooh. So you... You reckon you can... You reckon you can look at any one of these people and see an aura around them? Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 
I saw, I saw this great aura once. Orange it was, key aura. <laughs> we, uh, we wondered how many people in the country are psychics, cos how many do you think are psychics? Quite a few out there, aren't there? Yeah, everyone's got the, the ability. Have they? Have I got it? Yeah. OK. <laughs> All right. So we sent Robbie Knox, a.k.a. The Tramp, out to find out who's psychic on the streets. Hi, my name's Robbie Knox, and I'm here to find out whether people are psychic. Do you believe in psychics? No. I believe a little bit in that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I don't think anything's impossible. I don't think they're with it. I've got a playing card here. Yeah. Is it red or black? Red. Correct. Oh. Black. Correct. Oh, sorry. <laughs> black. Correct. Red. Yeah. Correct. Oh my God, you're psychic. <laughs> oh my God, you have psychic powers. <laughs> you're psychic. You're not psychic. Oh, oh, God. God. What's my star <laughs> sign? Um, Gemma. Yeah. Cancer. Yeah. Aquarius. Correct. Yeah. Good. <laughs> You've got a gift. How are you going to use your gift? I don't know, actually. For good or evil? Good. Yeah. But to help orphans? Uh, probably. If I knew Odie was going to get knocked down, I'd jump in front of her before it happens. I'm going to scare people in the street. Nice. How are you going to do that? What are your predictions for the future? Um, we're all going to die. <laughs> Brian Cos. I'm you psychic as well. Can I predict things about you? Yes. Cool. Can I touch your chest? No. <laughs> I predict you don't spend loads on a haircut. That's true. Yeah. That's cool. You know a girl called Sarah. I do. Yeah. Yeah. She's quite cute, yeah? Um, some angles. It's not, no, it's not David. Hang on. Um, it's not David. Stephen. No. Claire. Yes. Claire. You know someone called yes. Claire. It's a friend of yours, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's a friend, quite a close friend. Yeah. You've known her for a, a while. Yeah, I think. would say from, so. From school? Uh, college. From college, yeah, college. Yeah. Sort of school, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> she, she knows your boyfriend? Yes. Yeah, she knows your boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they've had an affair. <laughs> you know, there have been rumours before this about Ben and Claire, yeah. You're going to get murdered. <laughs> married, married, sorry, <laughs> married. M and um, married, married. It's a little bit in all of us. And so, right, if you, uh, if you want to enter our game this morning, you can win yourself a his and hers easy t shirt combo in our game, Road to Wembley. Here's the man's design as modelled by this fan here. Stood up, sir. There he is. <laughs> If you want one of these, they're available at www.skysports.com forward slash soccerm. All profits will be going to Bernardo's. All right, sadly, the design is too big for the ladies' t shirt. It had to be adapted. Rebecca, please, will you reveal the ladies' design? <laughs> you ready to catwalk with me, Rebecca? Yeah. Let's put that down here, shall we? Okay. Cue the music, please. <laughs> Rebecca, obviously, uh, you're a pro. I'm pro. These guys are amateurs. Please, if you pick one of these guys to catwalk with us. It's got to be the one on the right. <laughs> got a Ferrari, mate? No chance, is there? No chance. <laughs> Cue the music, please. If you want to be a soccer M soccer at, send us a photo of your phone number on it and Little Rocket will put you on his short list. We want all sorts of girls on the show. You don't have to be a model or an actress or have been in adverts. You can be anything. Here is the address you need to send your uh, photo to Soccer AM. PO Box 7, Nicewith, Moose 16775QQ. Or you can send it on the internet, soccerm.bskyb.com. If you want to win a his and hers t shirt, a Soccer M DVD, a picture of Pugsy and a Barry Badge, you've got to enter the game.
Guess how many times the Bradford fans will score on the road to Wembley. Text the word Wembley plus your guest name and team to the appropriate number. One correct answer will be chosen at random and the lucky winner will get all the prizes. Oh, I put... Come on, you've got a special talent about you. How many are they going to get? Ooh. Ten. Yes. <laughs> I think that speaks volumes. It's, it's Barry. <laughs> Says, by the way, she nicked a tin of peas as well. <laughs> hey, Barry Bradford wins the national. Yes, sir. Oh, I can't wait. I love the national, mate. Yeah, I've already got a couple of bets on Sun. Yeah, got fiver on Edge Hunter. Now that is a Mel C. A what? An excellent each way bet. I've also got a tenner on McCoy's horse. Gone for a Barry Manilow there on the nose. And I've also got a spare 500 nicker that is burning a hole in my sky rocket. 500 quid, you better have a look at the phone then, son. Shut up. I don't need no help off them mugs in the papers. I've got the inside track, and I? I've got a man in the know. Not Harry the horse. No, not Harry the horse. It's only the trainer. You know, Major Tick Tech Terry and Ben Bookie Billy. Oh, right. Mate, I'm going to give him a little tinkle now. <sighs> Come on, Joan. Hello? Joan, it's Bell. What are you up to, son? About seven grand, Bell. Having a very, very good week this week. Good man, good man. Now, what have you got for your old mate, Bell? Right, I've got a nice outside of you today, Bell. 100 to 1 with a very, very, very good chance. All right, all right. Hold up, I'll just get a pen. Here we go. Come on. Right. Fire away, son. Right, Bell. I'll spell it for you. Yeah. 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 Yeah, lovely. OK. Keep it to yourself, pal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, course. You're a diamond, son. Love to the family. Ta-da. <laughs> yes! I knew he wouldn't let me down. And that is a right touch. Come on, then. Tell us a name. Ready? Hoof-hearted. 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 <laughs> I can't believe we've done that to me! Who oh, parted? Here, Bell, you better write stink of this. <laughs> I'm getting the dogs! <laughs> right, so two shirts you can win in the game, plus a DVD and everything. Back to Helen. Yeah. Cheers, Tim. Right, coming up after the break, things, stuff and showboat. What are you doing? Just sitting there at home, doing nothing. You could be playing now for big money. It's £5,000 tonight. All you've got to do is dial 9 666. Something lost. It's something lost. What is that word? You might be sitting at home. You might know what it is. You're playing the magnificent, unbelievable game show. The best game show on TV. I will be taking a call within five minutes. I promise you I'll be taking a call within five minutes, which is your opportunity to win 5,000 big ones in the magnificent, unbelievable game show. The number is 9 treble 5 treble 8 treble 6 5,000 pounds up for grabs. What could you do with that money? You could buy yourself some nice clothes like I wear. Get yourself a decent haircut like me. Maybe you could buy some biscuits. Buy some biscuits today, they're delicious. Brilliant. Cream ones in the middle, and I have some rich tea afterwards. Lovely biscuits. I will be taking a call within five minutes, I promise you. <coughs> hello, who's that? Hey, is that Tim? <laughs> yeah, who's that? Hey, Dave from Barsley. Dave, hello, mate. Hi, uh, hello. Hey, it's big money tonight, isn't it? Yeah, I know. 5,000 yeah. big ones. Just see what we can do with that, David. It's something lost. Something lost. What do you think the answer is? Is it... Is it Sheffield United? Sheffield United. Well, let's find out. <laughs> Sorry, mate, it's not Sheffield United, no. 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 It's Sheffield United lost. Sheffield United lost in 1973. Leeds beat them. Tony Curry's gone. <laughs> yeah, but it's not Sheffield United here. I'm sorry, mate. Sorry, Dave. Is it, is it Sheffield Wednesday? No, it's actually not a football team at all. It's, is it OK 
Kings and Rovers. No, it's not a sports team, Dave. Thanks a lot for your... Is it? It's Tory party. Tory party lost last election. Sorry, but no, it's actually only one word, but you're only allowed one guess as well, Dave, so I'm sorry. Thank you so much for phoning. Yeah, Try again in a minute. Tim, before you call me, yeah. is it Rotherham United? <laughs> Right, you're watching the magnificent, unbelievable game show. Get calling now, 9 treble 5, treble 8, treble 6. I had an apple today, it was delicious, red and very shiny. Three huge games tomorrow. Right, thank you so much for phoning. Try yeah, again in a minute. Tim, before you call me, yeah. is it Rotherham United? <laughs> right, you're watching the magnificent, unbelievable game show. Get calling now, 9 treble 5, treble 8, treble 6. I had an apple today, it was delicious, red and very shiny. Three huge games tomorrow.